Nice to meet you today, David. Because uh, nice I, like Shit's Creek was such lovely television. It's like a warm cuddle that show. And Big Dog Eyes has something kind of similarly, kind of tonally, quite kind of tender and quite sort of like warm about it. Do you think there's just a real place for like nice people, nice television? <laughs> I mean, I think there are parallels for sure. These two small town stories. Uh, where hopefully it's, you know, people you like and want to spend time with in a, in a world you want to spend time in. I think the big door prize has something slightly unsettling under the surface. You know, it is, it's a warm hug, but it's, it, it, there's a slight pullback from that hug, um, where you're wondering like, is it going to stay nice and cozy forever? Or is there a, a, a creeping anxiety that's going to set into this world as well? What is it about these kind of fictional, quirky, small towns that appeals to you as a, as a storyteller? I mean, I like uh, escapism is a word that's sometimes used with like reality TV or mindless television. But I like escaping into a world that's slightly different from our own that makes us think about our own world. And so uh, this ge geographically ambiguous town that almost has a bubble around it where we're not really referencing anything happening outside of this town. There aren't a lot of pop culture references and the ones that we have are, are kind of timeless or slightly dated. Uh, so you're really focusing on these characters in this world and investing in these stories in this place. Um, that's just something that appeals to me as a, as a creator. You mentioned about there being kind of a slightly unsettling tone. I mean, the show starts off with the 40th birthday. Are you are you 40 yet? And how do you feel about that particular milestone? I've just turned 40. Um, so the, the timing of the series is is, is uh, hitting home in a very real way. I think, you know, it's the kind of prototypical midlife crisis uh, is supposed to happen around this time. And I think uh, I love the idea of our, our first character, our way into the series, being someone right at that midpoint who feels like he is happy, who feels like he is content. And then he's told, but what if this is all there is? What if this is the peak? What if it's just more of this? And uh, the kind of chasm of self-doubt and anxiety that that might open up felt very funny and painful at the same time. <laughs> Do you think that you've reached your full potential or is there more to come? I hope I hope there's more to come um, because otherwise, what am I doing here? But I, I, I think, you know, I'm very happy with um, what I'm doing right now. I feel like I've always wanted to write and uh, and make movies and I'm doing that. So I feel very fortunate. Because yeah, I mean, Chris O'Dowd's character seems quite hesitant to kind of find out his fate. Would you hesitate or would you be would you be right in? I think, you know, there's a frenzy in small towns when something new arrives and everyone's trying it. And, but I'm, I'm not really a contrarian. I would probably take my turn. I think uh, I'd be interested to see what it would do to me if I was told something other than what I'm doing, because I feel like this is all I'm capable of. Um, so maybe it would spin me off in a different direction, but I would definitely want to try. And sort of, sort of going back, we sort of mentioned the sort of, sort of the beginning of Shit's Creek, which was sort of lasted a kind of uh, a few a few years and kind of several seasons. Is that something you've got maybe in mind uh, with the Big Door Prize? And when you do write a first season, do you have to start thinking about potential things that could happen further down the line, even when you're writing now, or, or do you just treat it now as a kind of standalone piece and hope for the best? Yeah, I think you're always thinking ahead. Shit's Creek was more of a standard sitcom that you know didn't change fundamentally from season to season, but we have a big mystery element in this show. And so there's a, a, an impetus on, on building that mystery and spinning it forward. And, and we're thinking about where we can go all the time. And you try to end eat the season on a cliffhanger with some idea of where you're going, but not every idea. So you get into that writer's room and can spend the first couple of weeks just blue skying everything. Well, I'm hoping there is more to come and hopefully we'll catch up again in future seasons. Thank um, you. But thank you so much for your time today, David. Much appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.